Family, it seems that the issue of corruption continues to be a thorny issue right in our country. It's very painful, some of the things that continue to happen in our country. We have seen uh, opposition uh, parties taking over city councils, and uh, we thought that we were going to be seeing changes happening within the city councils. But it seems the cul culture of ZANU-PF has just gripped every Zimbabwean. Anyone who gets an opportunity to be anywhere near leadership, they will find the, uh, an opportunity to enrich themselves. They will find an opportunity uh, also to siphon some bit of cash, some money to the, to the benefit of their own uh, personal pockets. And yet, we are still fighting a big thief who is an PF, thinking that by bringing in some new breed and new uh, you know, faces in the politics, we are going to be having people that are changing. But I don't know how far we are really, uh, how close rather we are to achieving this in where we can be having uh, proper people in the offices of administration and power who can be there to save the people and be satisfied with what they are paid and uh, the benefits they are getting from there or the allowances they are getting from there. I don't know when we are going to be having the right people because it seems like everyone who is coming into the politics is already uh, getting swallowed by this uh, disaster or by this uh, you know, monster of corruption. The Harare City Council has been on record for many, many things. Many, many scandals continue to happen. And uh, it is very disturbing to find that these are supposed to be also councillors who are of the opposition, who are supposed to show a difference from what ZANU-PF has done to our country. Now, young people who are coming in, young councillors who are coming in from the opposition side are also, you know, just jumping onto the wagon of stealing. And uh, when are we going to ever get our country running in the right direction? Because the city... Parking opens party reports that city uh, uh, parking uh, Harare accused of currency scandal, charging in US dollar, paying in Zimbabwean dollar. The Commission uh, of Inquiry into Harare City Council governance has accused the city of Harare of collecting fees in US dollar but remitting payment to the council in local currency. Can you can you see what is happening? They are taking money from citizens uh, using the US dollar, and uh, when they get to remit the the, the the collections to cancel, they have to go to the black market and then buy the zig, and then they go and pay in zig, and they pocket the profits. So this is it's very sad what is ha happening. So many of these scandals are happening in these uh, opposition councils, and uh, very very sad development. And uh, for your own information, I'm busy right now working on something that uh, a, a scandal that uh, I've had happening in uh, in Gweru City Council, and it involves Kareni Kore with the same issues of, of, of the parkings. So we are yet to see what is going to be happening. I'm still investigating and finding information. When I get the right information of what exactly is happening in Kweru concerning this woman, I am going to be coming through and giving you updates of what exactly is happening. So if indeed she is involved, we are going to get the information and we will expose them. And that's exactly what we are going to do for the sake of making sure that uh, our councils continue to run properly. We don't need to have people that are corrupt continuously being in offices of power. We want to sweep off the issue of corruption. We want to rub off corruption totally out of Zimbabwe and we liberate our country. We make sure that our country is freed. We make sure that we have the right leaders, responsible leaders that are coming for the sake of developing the country and do not what we are seeing happening in these councils. It's very, very sad that there is not going to be any kind of change whatsoever if we see things continue to happen the way that things are happening. Let me just say this. Residents of Harare and Waterloo are charged with fees in US dollars. Uh, on page six. On page seven of your statements. The indication is that you remit, or at least for the period concerned, from 2017 to 2023, you were, your remittances were in our local ZWL. 
the light you want to explain why when you receive the fees in US dollars you choose to give the city council local currency. It's uh, not correct. Let me go to paragraph 14.2.9. Are you there? <laughs> Sorry, I said there. Page 7, page 6. Yes. 14, 2022, there is no indication of the amount in US dollars, only ZWL. I mean, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. The 2017, 18, remember that was the year where it was one. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. Even the USD then, after the no mention of 2019 SI that converted to. So before that, it was USD, but it's not that in the You might want to explain to us why. Because your document here shows that you remitted only ZWL <coughs> up to 2022. Is that correct? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your document here does not reflect any, any US dollar amount. You indeed mentioned one to one, but the document reflects that from 2017 to 2022, you remitted ZWL, even 2023, actually. <laughs> Not correct, but 2023. Okay, 2022. It was uh, ZWL, and that is the, um, the amount which we have received. We give the full form in which we have received that money. Are you suggesting before this commission that during the period indicated here, we never received US dollars? So, this, these are some of the things that are happening. And they're very, very disturbing, like we are saying, that we wish to see these city councils beginning to work in a different way. When we elect new leaders, especially in the opposition, we wish to see them going to change the status quo and not to just go and carry on from where ZANU-PF has left. That is not going to develop Zimbabwe. That is going to continue to cause Zimbabwe to be trekking back uh, behind all other countries. So, family, this is what is happening. Very, very sad development for our nation. And we really need to work extra hard to have the right people in the office, elect the right people in the offices. Not everyone, just because they are enticing or they are good at speaking or they are giving people some trinkets, it doesn't work. We have to have the people that have Zimbabwe at heart in the offices of, of administration. Then we can start to have a country that works. Otherwise, uh, remain blessed. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. Remember, as always, to subscribe, to like, and to share.